Kathy, have you ever Sorry. been love bombed? I I don't think I've ever been love bombed to that extent. But you know, I have been you know given extravagant gifts and early on, like where I didn't expect, and I was like, oh shit, like can I curse? You can. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, no, just making sure. She would look at the camera. She would oh, okay. curse and then to so, ask the yeah, person. I I don't think I've ever been love bombed like that. But like I agree with you. Like maybe it's just that person's love language. Imagine two people love bombing each other. That would be great. They mm. would be happy Sounds together. Toxic. No, I, well, no. it just depends. Because when I think love bomb, I don't think of a negative word. But if you're stalking, if you're waiting for me outside of my job three weeks into, that's stalkerish. That's like mm -hmm. not love bomb. That's stalker bomb. Like, yeah. It's a whole different. I think you have to differentiate the two. It's like a fine line between the two. Okay. But I definitely feel you have to. See, have you ever been love bomb? I think it depends on who it's coming from. Um, if it's coming from somebody that you're not into, of course it's going to be weird. I had somebody <laughs> like that recently. He was just. You know, we look good together. He kept inviting me over, kept just too much. And then one day he just got emotional and was crying. And I screenshot it. I'm sorry if you're watching, but I screenshot it and sent it to my homegirls. Like, what the fuck is this? So it was a lot. He was crying over issues or whatever. And it was just too much. And we just met each other within the two week span. And I just felt like the whole time he just kept saying, you know, babe, he caught me babe so fast. Everything was just so fast. And I didn't care how good he looked and what money he got. None of that mattered. It was just too fast. So you do have people that want passion so fast that they will send that kind of energy out. Mm -hmm. So especially now, quarantine, a lot of brothers, they, they feeding right now. So they, they get, you know, they get on the phone with you. They talking all kind of love shit. No, they don't mean it. But, <laughs> 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 you know, they talking all that love stuff. You know, Rob, you should, you know, you a brother. You out there doing that right yeah, now. Yeah, who you be love bombing? Love, love, love bombing? Love bombing? Who you love bombing, Rob? So, first of all, First of all, Let me say it's crazy how y'all brought this topic up because I know she's on the live watching this, <laughs> but she definitely love bomb me. Like, you know, somebody that you start saying like every day they trying to see you or trying to make plans mm -hmm. to see you like every single day. Like, baby girl, relax. You know what I'm saying? Stop, you, you know. And, you know, we had to, and I'm comfortable talking about this because I already had this conversation with her so she understand that um, like every single day, it's too, much. It's, it's too, too much. much. I need breathing. And not only that, I'm fresh out of divorce. I can't be having all of that. Yeah. Like, See, yeah. there's people that are like natural, uh, uh, natural nurturers. Mm -hmm. Women are natural nurturers. There's our men that are natural providers. Like it's just something that they do. It don't matter who you are. If you just with that person, this is what mm -hmm. you know they do. So it's just like. Um, it really depends on the person when it comes to doing stuff like cooking and gifts and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like you definitely have to um, be mindful of the tone you're setting. But what he just said is when you're coming out of a relationship, you mm -hmm. know, sometimes if you're used to being that nurturing type of woman, you you know, because I remember my first date, the guy that I started seeing as soon as I, you know, not soon, but one year after, he said to me, you're like a wife. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what do you mean? He said, you're so attentive. <laughs> You're so, and I did not understand what he mean. And I'm like, what do you mean? He said, the, the way you are, you just so attentive. White and I, material. Yeah, so he kept saying that, you're like a wife. And I couldn't understand what he means. So I understand what you're saying. Coming out of a relationship, you do wind up doing some of the behavior that you're familiar yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. yeah you used to. And you also expect like the same emotion that you, and like the same things that you used you do. to do in your relationship. You do. And the fact you expect it from like the new person. And sometimes the per the person is like, "What's going on? Like, why mm -hmm. do you want to go on all these dates? Like, we just you're just used to it. Used yeah. to like yeah. I like a man that cook. All I'm right, so man. you're starting to date someone. What's a normal or a normal amount of days that you should set aside a week to see this person? I think it just goes by the vibe and the energy, mm -hmm. the chemistry that you guys have that determines the amount of days that you spend together. Because shit, if I'm really into you and I'm loving you and I'm loving how you make me feel, I want to see you all the time. Yeah. I, I agree with you. Yeah. But do just... relationships that start off like that, do they end well? Yeah. Have they ended Have they ended well for you? I think Relationships so. that start off like really... With good, tense chemistry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I, they ended I believe well? I love at first sight. Like, I mean, those things do happen. There are actually people out there that have really good relationship because they have really a really good chemistry they're really naturally attracted to each other mm -hmm. and so it can last long it don't come with everybody no. it don't happen with everybody right. all right so honestly i feel like um relationships that start off like that oh my god the chemistry is good i want to see you see you see you all the time i've been in situations like that and i noticed that this person does that with everybody 
You understand? Mm-hmm. Like, literally. And I feel like when you do that often, it's something wrong with you. Like, I feel like you not comfortable being by yourself. And you put it in your head, oh my God, I vibe is so, okay. The vibe is Sometimes great. Love Take some love healthy it. space from this person. Literally, I know someone that every, they spend the first weeks, two weeks, hot and heavy. Like, calm It'd be down. Nice though. That's and that's why, but that's why I say, I feel like some stuff that start off that way, that is not it, the it momentum depends. dies I, I think, down. I, I like to give some a man time to miss me. I don't want to seem always available. What you doing today? Can I see you today? Can I see you tomorrow? But if the chemistry is there, Nikki, come on. Uh, so I, 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 what I, I, you I, have I, to refrain a, yourself. Yeah. Listen, if you throw a frisbee, the door gonna catch it, right? Nikki, you throw it again, the door gonna catch it, right? Nikki. you throw that frisbee thirty times, the dogs is gonna be tired Nikki, of catching it. You Listen. have to give it space. That's Healthy true, space. but when you meet someone in and the beginning. Pay. Sometimes chemistry is so high that you both can't help it. Lust play a huge part. So don't yeah. get, I, we get confused with let, lust let, and love sometimes. Can I say this? Uh-huh. I think that there's no time. I, agree. I don't like playing games. If you, I don't think that like I don't think that if someone, um, if I call someone and you like yo, um, I, damn, I, I think I called her twice already today. Should I call her again? No, I called you because I want to call you. I'm not I'm not making my decisions based upon what I think how you're gonna view me. Mm-hmm. If you think I'm thirsty, mm-hmm. if you think I'm decent so or any X Y I'm not playing those games. And honestly, let me be perfectly honest with you. You need to keep my attention. Having too much space with me, I'm not even going to sit there and hold you <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. So if you not at That's least how I, am. I don't have to be around you. If you ain't send me a text, if you I, I listen, I'm telling you, just like you said, Nikki. If if he wait too many days of texting you, you really on to the next. Mm-hmm. I'm the same guy. And, and we got to be honest with ourselves. Your rug. No, that, he's right. Men yeah. and women are the same thing. A lot of us try to go around the corner to act like we're not the same. We think the same. We feel the same. Mm-hmm. When we don't get that phone call, I'm sure it's a brother that meet a sister out there and she's really beautiful and he like her. He don't want to be thirsty, but he's feeling the same energy that we be feeling. We be like, damn, I like him. We call our girlfriend. Yep. We screenshot his, take his picture, send it to our friend. Girl, he look good, right? We start, <laughs> and you know what happened? This is what fuck us up too as women. We start you know, letting that imagination fuck us up. We start imagining babies and all kind of shit. So it should get thrown off. But when you meet someone in the beginning, you can't help, especially if the chemistry is real and you like the individual, Mm -hmm. you can't help what's there, what you feel. This is the rule to myself. The energy that you want to receive, you put it out there in the Mm -hmm. universe. I was just going to say that. So if you want certain things to come your way, when I met my ex, um, I moved them in within six months. I was really, I put everything on the table. I was really, You was dignitized? Really, and I was dignitized. <laughs> I was. I was a member. I'm not going to pretend. We all been there. It's all right. I've yes, been there, bitch. Yes, yes, it's hard. And I'm out of it now. Exactly. I'm out of it. It's a free. phase. I'm free from being dignitized, but we all. <laughs> you were slapping them cheap times. It's a phase. It's a phase. No, it's a phase. But the point that I'm making, you do meet somebody, you it it's not impossible to meet someone and genuinely fall in love and yeah. genuinely put and everything then, down, put all the guards down and just go with the flow of it. Mm-hmm. It's not impossible. I did yeah. it for a long period of time until it did, ran out. They did it back in the 50s. I'm sorry. It's okay. They did it back in the 50s and 60s. They fell in love and had babies and it, some, they're still together up to now. Like yeah. It is possible to love love folks. <laughs> sorry. You cannot... Uh, expect your last relationship, even if it was so dope or whatever, for your new relationship to have that same kind of feel. You're dealing with a new person, with a new mind, new experiences. I feel like some people, you have to take the relationship for what it was. Mm-hmm. Get, get, you know, embrace all the good times. And if it didn't work out, you move on and you're going to have even more good times with someone else. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's just like you you can't hold on to that. You can't well, be chasing well, that high. Well, I could say no. Um, you know, if you had a good relationship and you had good chemistry and good sex and you go find somebody that's giving you two minutes, you're going to compare what you had before. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I had some bullshit yeah, after and I'm just like, nah, this is So let me ask you some <laughs> Wait, I got a question for T. So T, your ex has such bomb dick, bitch. Like bomb dick. He had he had had such bomb dick. So now, if you meet a guy that treats you like a motherfucking queen, but his dick does not compare to your ex, you gonna you gonna hold on to that? Yes. What the fuck? Sex I agree, is you. I'm not I gonna lie. Yeah, I would hold on. To you want me to lie? Yeah. 
You want me to say, oh, I'm telling you, it's like this slim pickings out here. This slim pickings out here. But you know the funny, you know the funny part about this is, I agree with Nikki, right? Like when two people. You know, the problem is, the re I think the reason why people are having a hard time of getting in another relationship when they decide to get in a relationship is because they, they are comparing. When you're in a relationship with someone, especially if you got married, you got to look at it like a fusion. Two people are coming together to be one. And so it's like y'all becoming one and y'all fusing together. This person and you is coming. So this person brings something different about you. So when you leave that relationship, that doesn't work out. Not saying that wasn't true love and whatever. Y'all didn't work things out the whole nine yards. But now when you meet someone else, this person or this woman or this man brings something totally different about you than the other person. Mm -hmm. And then y'all become a fusion. You're like, damn, I feel different or, you know, the whole nine yards. So you shouldn't, which is why when you get out of a relationship, you should wait before you start dating at least That's be true. single for at least that. a year before you start dating someone else so you can get past okay. the, the, the part of... You know, My dealing with someone else. It takes you a yeah. month to get over somebody. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. That's shenanigans. No, I'm just saying, it doesn't take me a month. Well, yeah, it could take me a month. Bye. Is there <laughs> tricks or is there tricks or ways to like get over a breakup? No, I, I, a you question. know what? To me, this is what I do. I just hang out with my girls every single night. We party, <laughs> we going out, and I don't want no men around me. I just want to hang out with my girls and have a good time. And you know, eventually, we're gonna start checking out other guys. Like that's mm -hmm. how I do it. Oh, this is how I get over a guy. Is I just hang out with my girls every single day. We do ratchet shit, you know, get drunk, you know, have a good time, do different shit, go, just maybe even take a trip. But for that time period, I don't want to be necessarily around men. Like they could be around, but I don't want to like engage with them or associate with them because I need time to heal. Like at least a mm -hmm. month. A woman find her true love once, maybe twice in her life. I've heard maybe. That. Maybe twice. I, I don't know how true that is. Uh, but that's what I hear a lot of older women say. Now, I know for men, I know that rule doesn't apply to us. No, it don't apply to you. Well, because, bro, you done met. Yo, you, it's, uh, you, yo dudes can take account, yo. I met so many good women in your life that you just vibe with or connected right. with that you what connected with. What would make you settle in a relationship? What would what? make me settle? Yeah, like you in it. What would make you settle? You love put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'm just saying. What would make me settle? You know, me personally, I'm not taking a shot at you. I got you. I Go always ahead. say this. Go ahead. I always feel that men are more gold diggers than women. I always believe that. Uh, I, people I call women gold that. diggers. I believe that a man will always, always marry a woman on the cover. A man, a man is could always be winning. For ten years, the day she got a dollar, next week she get married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I've always. Seen. Man is always coming. A, a woman man don't. is always. I think men. I think always. men because we think logical. <laughs> no, it's 100%. not even that. It's not only that is what. What do our mothers teach us? Bro. Like our mothers don't teach us to listen. Listen, when you when if your mother if you hold, I think we attract like what we see our mother. What our mothers is if your mom is a certain standard. And your mom was always on the come up or always grinding the whole night. I'm not, man, and this is make this perfectly clear. I would kind of agree with you 50% on that one. I'm not, at 32 years old, I'm not being with no woman that's not getting to no bad. But, Let's just make I, but that Rob, clear. the reason why y'all come not crazy that women don't know that. I've been around women, right? And <laughs> I've seen that positions change. I've been around your whole seven months. You got like three text messages here and there. Now you came up, your bag is up, you just bought you a new car, you got this. They coming, they floating. They coming. But you know what? You know why? <laughs> but listen, hey, but you know what? Let me say this. My mom said this. When a man could be in a, a nice, to say a Rolls Royce or a BMW and see a woman at the bus stop, right? He'll push up on her. But now, if a woman be in the BMW, see a guy at the bus stop, he try to push up on her. She mess around, call the police on this nigga. Why is he so up on listen, <laughs> but listen, so I, listen, so the, but, but, so she told me that. Hold on, hey, she told me that because she said the same women hold themselves at a standard. You a man, you better hold, you hold her wow. to the same goddamn standard. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna day. say this. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm being a BM. She trying to, how you doing? Rolling up my goddamn window early. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? As much as we don't want to, you know, acknowledge this, men come up because they could have more than one. You're built naturally to have more than one. So it's easy for a man to, you know, have a couple women. She's a doctor. She's a nurse. Where we got to get the guy that's not, nothing is wrong with being a garbage collector or he's not working. Our options are less because it's more women than men. So, mm -hmm. of course, the men are always going to come up 
with a woman that has a great career. Y'all always, y'all be working nowhere, security guard and, and have a woman that's <laughs> you a know doctor what? and a nurse. It's easy for I, you I agree. And, a, that's and how a, it is. Right. Yeah. You know what, A, you right. Because I'm let me just what? say this to you. First of all, and I think the reason why women, I think women making a decision off of being with someone with because of love. With men, we're not making that decision because we love you. No. We could love you and not be with you. Listen, I'm not looking in the club for my, my, my next wife. I'm at Whole Foods. I'm at Home Depot. Why Home Depot? Not to say she owns something. I'm at, <laughs> listen, listen, let's oh, be clear. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, I want to be clear. Listen, I'm a, I know a girl that listen, does that. Listen, let me say this. And listen, that. ladies. Hold on, ladies. Hold on, ladies. Listen, ladies. Listen, ladies. Listen, ladies. Listen, ladies. Listen, ladies. You do the same. Listen, ladies. You do the same goddamn thing. That's you go thing. go to Home Depot and look for your man. Stop trying to because when you're in the club, it's too many admissions of broke people, and Everywhere maybe money. it's only a few people in that club with money. So your That's chances and probability. Are all they got for that night. Well, one hundred percent. But when you go to Home it's Depot, true. you get to hold the conversation. Yeah, I'm putting new windows in my new property I just bought. They go to conversation. Go to Starbucks. He's sitting on his laptop. He's working the whole nine yards. Stop trying to look at these little stupid little spots for a, a man but and 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 stop making decisions straight off of love i'm my thing is calculated i'm gonna fall in love with somebody that's getting to a bag and that's so, just I'm like, a, I'm so women use money on some men for control so it's just like yeah that car is in my name yeah this house is in my it's name my yeah shit. those shoes you remember that song to the left to the left mm -hmm. give me your keys that's my <laughs> shit like yeah you know better than to fuck this up because this lifestyle that you live in you're not going to live it. stop mm -hmm. stop fucking she with me and what sure. female you know is going to do this for you it's it's but most of the time it's Me coming out of a, a, a relationship for 12 years and joining this dating ass pool, it's some bullshit out here right now. The man, if y'all are looking for a good man right now, 2020, I'm not saying that it's not good people out there. But right now, the brothers that are stressed out dealing with quarantine, they're not looking to say, will you marry me? Most of them are just looking for you to come over, fuck the shit out of you and keep it pushing. They're not looking for nothing deep. They're stressed out. They don't know if they're going to have their job next year. So it's Take not easy out here. Relationships are not easy. So if you have something at home, you bill, you get counseling. Right now is the best time to get counseling with your partner if you have one at home. Because I have a lot of girlfriends that are breaking up right now due to quarantine because they're around their man more. They're seeing quality that they don't like. And I'm telling them, ain't shit out here. It ain't. Isn't it sometimes better just to be by yourself then? Ah, uh, no. You get lonely. <laughs> I'm alone. Not, 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 not forever. Not forever. I'm not gonna lie. You want dick after yeah. a while. You want some shit. You want to. I, I hate that. You know why? Because men can say the same thing about right. women. Like, oh, ain't nothing good out here. These bitches ain't shit. Like, they change, have. A, they don't. They don't have to say that. You gotta change. How have you ever went to? They have let more tea. options. Have you ever been to Africa? Have they you ever have, been to I'm, Europe? No, no. All right, so how you gonna say it ain't shit out here? Sis, travel. It's somebody for everybody. Yeah, I'm like, thing. yo, I'm sitting here like, yo, COVID you mean though. to right. tell me it's not doing COVID. Not doing COVID to travel to Europe. Exactly. Yeah. Right now, it but, ain't nothing out here. All right, on, but there's right. there's dating websites that, shit is not that you could meet from people. Like you could contact people from other countries. Like they literally have people that you could contact from other countries. Like you have to try. Like you cannot. It, you, did you exhaust all your options? Yes. No, and it ain't shit out here. Yo, it's millions of people out here. It's millions of people out here. It's no way you fucked all the men in the world to no sit one. here and be like, it's nothing out of here. Out of here. You right. did not expand your I'm, I'm sorry. I right love now. being single because I... I it is. Swimming. <laughs> she's swimming. No, but you swimming. You swimming on uh, like both it's, sides. It's, it's harder for everywhere. us. Everywhere. Well, it's hard for us. No, it's not. Sexual. It's hard. You got a vagina? It's not hard. I don't want it. My cookie is sacred. I no, I'm that. saying <laughs> it's not about having sex. It's that you're a woman. No. I get that. Okay. You have the power. It's basically exactly. what she's saying. It's, you have the power to go on dates and not have sex with man. anyone. And just enjoy Let's it. Let's keep it real, ladies. Y'all are not being honest with yourself. You know damn right, well. You, I'm, I'm going to be real I'm right gonna, now. I got you. I'm going to go to Kathy. Do you find dating to be difficult, not just to go on dates, but to actually lock down someone of quality? She in a relationship. All right. Well, oh, I, I did lock down somebody of quality. Wait, wait. I did lock down somebody of quality, and it was it was crazy how it happened because, first of all, he, he we knew we met on his boat. In 2013, That's I have red hair, right? So, 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 so I, don't know. Yeah, I, but I didn't know that. Listen, I didn't know this. I didn't.
didn't know this. I didn't know the man that I was, he was watching me. I'm very open to love. Like I don't mm -hmm. dodge it. I don't say, oh my God, there's nobody out there. Like I've been in many relationships. I have two kids um, with, you know, with my son's father and we were together for 10 years and that didn't work out. And then I was dating for a while and then I dated a lot of shit men and great men. And now I'm like, okay, I know what a good man is and I know what a bad man is. I think I know, like, I kind of have an idea. You know idea. the signs. Yeah. You the know signs. the signs. So elaborate on that. What's a good man and what's a bad man? A good man is somebody who wants to, like, he sees, he sees you for what you are, good or bad, and he's willing to accept you and he's going to elevate you too. He's going to figure out ways to help you become a better woman. He's not going to give it to you easily because that's not, like, realistic. Before, I used to think that a man had to give me everything. That's not realistic. Mm -hmm. A man is not going to give you the world right, right away. Right. But you're going to have to, he's going to teach you how to maybe get the world. How to better yourself. And he's going to help you get there. But he's not going to give it to you. He's going to support your career. Like, my man supports my career. He loves that I'm an actress. And I've never met a man who understood why I want to be an actress. Like, every man I met is like, why do you want to do that? You should do this. And I'm like, no, that's my passion. So if a man supports you and your passion and everything you're doing, that's a real man. That's quality. That's love. That's passion. And also, he better take care of you when you're sick as hell in your hospital bed and pay for that hospital bill because it's quite hefty and I ain't got insurance. So, <laughs> so, what, makes so a, what makes a bad man? A bad man is somebody who has no, he doesn't care about you. He, You could be like going through the worst and like a real man, like, listen, women, like don't expecting things from a man is the worst thing you can do. But if a man knows that you're going through something and he sees and he's watching you struggle and he's watching you go through all that. That's not a good man. That's not even a good friend. Like you don't want that person around because a good friend is going to help you or help you figure it out. So I feel like that just goes you just have to be a good human. You have to be able to differentiate what a good person is and what a bad person is, whether it's a man or a woman. And that's that on that.